Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 28. NASDAQ is off 17. S&P is off 7.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 East, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Shame on me. Um, great program. Also, has a great newsletter. The opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go right under featured content. You're going to see the opening call right there. You hit the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get it for one month for $128 a month. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. All come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. You get everything to win, zero to lose. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So we get the Fed coming tomorrow. We get the end of the window dressing, end, end, of, the end month, of the month, beginning of the month. It's just everything's coming together here. So this is going to be very important for a couple of reasons, okay. because almost all the indexes and the stocks that are, certainly are very important to, to what I look at, they have overhead resistance where they are right now, or just a little above. Okay. So it means that there's going to have to be, say, the Dow, for instance, would have to go to the 27,480, 27,500. The moment it's there, that's that's just going to force a lot of people in. But with this this kind of resistance, I've got a feeling that within the context of what happens with the Fed, that, yep, caught a point. But, you know, there also have been some very good uh, um, economic reports coming out I don't think they can go to 50. So this is what I'm looking at. For us, for subscribers to my opening call, we have we still have a, a core position from the, the low that was on June the 3rd on the long side of the Dow. Within that context, we, context we've taken some profits. To, we took a little profits off this morning, but nine points, or well, actually seven points off the all-time high at 27,398. That was the high on the 16th, but at 27,000, 391, we started a short position and we've added to that. And one of the reasons is within the context of, yep, it's gone sideways. You can see on the left side chart, this is the Dow Daily. It's already just gone sideways within a 300 point range. But my thinking here is that if there is a close below 26,950, in other words, we get back into the 26,900s. I think we could start uh, a longer, maybe not so deep, but a longer timeout so that we just have another week or two or maybe even three of consolidating. It could get worse, but this is really my thinking that so many stocks are bumping up into resistance. It's really going to take a whole new uh, a breakout to the upside to bring in uh, more buyers. And I think that if you look at the key stocks, a lot of them – They've had very, very big moves in the six months, seven months that we've been since the beginning of the year. So I think they're kind of due for a rest. But here's what, what I'm looking at. Within the Dow, it'll be uh, below 27,000. I'd put it at 27, sorry, 26,950. Go below, close below that. You're already uh, looking at a, a consolidation that's been go going on for over two weeks. So that, that'll be one of the things that I'm looking at. A break uh, above 27,420 says, uh-uh, be careful. Now we could find more buyers. I'm not sure how, but that could be because of what the Fed says. But if you're looking at what we have, we've had Bank America from the 24s. There's a technique that I talk about, left side, right side, cup formation. Um, I'll show you right here. Look at this beautiful cup formation from the high that was made back on the uh, 29th of April at 31.17. We went right to 30.99 the other day. So it's kind of fulfilled that test of the upside. The monthly chart is starting to break out. So slowly but surely, you're getting some stocks in areas that have been underperforming, holding very well. Um, you spoke about the dollar. You know, we've been long the dollar since April of 2018. Look at this beautiful cup formation. 98.37 was the high on the 23rd of May. It came all the way down to 95.84. And if you look at this, the number of bars on the left from the 23rd of May to the low that was made on the 25th of June at 95.84, we came within, in the last two days, we've come within uh, 17 cents of getting to that left side high. 
Uh, so this is another, another one of those beautiful patterns. I just want to show this for a second. I always like to look at patterns. He has the arch formation, he has the cup formation, and the straight line move up or down, and, and this is the combination. So these are the patterns that we look at all the time, and you can see that we've got these cup formations forming. You've got even in the monthly chart a cup and handle. So you were talking about the dollar, the levels to watch. You're talking, you were talking about gold. Gold has been acting very well. So I agree, this is going to be very important for the dollar. It's achieved everything on this particular phase of the move that I looked at getting into the 98s. Maybe now it starts another consolidation. I can just tell you that if it starts, if the dollar starts to get to the 98.88 area or higher, I think it's going to go quickly to par. So this is the way I'm looking at it. But most importantly is that the dollar index in the monthly chart has come within 17 or 18 cents, there's the monthly on the right, of making that leg D that we're always looking for in the Chapman wave. Right. So this is a very important period, I agree. Then there's a stock that we've had. It's the, the broker dealer, IAI. It is an ETF the iShares, a U.S. broker, dealer, and securities ETF. We've had it from 60, it's gone to 66, 62. Also another nice gain. And I'm anticipating that it's going to be pulling back. It's gone to a peak E in the Chapman wave. And that weekly chart is still very strong. And the monthly chart is just starting to break out. So I suspect that the uh, 64, 63 should be the, the support that we have to look for if there is a pullback in the market. But this is a, an area that I'm looking at favorably for 2019 going into the end of the year. And I also I spoke to you some time ago about a stock PLD, which is, is a symbol prologis. It's in the REIT, in, a REIT in, it's an industrial REIT. And it's also done very nicely for us. Uh, we started a position at 75, it did 84, and now it's trading at 82. There's another one of those cup formations. So there's, there's a lot of resistance coming up. So I am anticipating that if there's any chance for the market to not break out because there's some hesitancy, and I suspect the Fed is going to, I don't, I don't see how they, can't, they aren't forced to say, we're going to be looking at the data, we'd like to uh, lower the rates by a quarter percent. And then we'll see, because it really is kind of a mixed uh, performance. Overseas is one thing, but here in the United States, uh, a lot of the reports have been good enough for them not to really uh, raise rates. So I, I suspect uh, there's going to be some kind of a pullback, and it's how the market deals with it, and that's going to be very important. I saw by this time tomorrow, 3.30, uh, 24, hours, what's it, 24 hours later, let's see what happens. But uh, we're, we're prepared. We're still trying to keep our long positions, but we've got as, as kind of an insurance policy, we've got a short, uh, short the down. We'll see how that works out. But as I say, the core position, I think we're going higher in 2019, so I'm trying... We got in on June the 3rd. I just don't see how it's going to go back to the lows of June the 3rd unless there's really bad news. So I'd like to keep that position and then add to it on a pullback, maybe switch from the shorts to the longs. And, so that's kind of the plan. And there's no doubt, you know, as Bowles was talking, folks, this is pretty amazing. You know, we're at all-time highs, and the Fed hasn't brought rates down at all-time highs. Have, this you, is have the, you ever heard of that No, before? this is the first. I, mean, I, I, I went through the chart. This is the first. Yeah. Never. Yeah. yeah. Listen, folks, jump over to our website at TFNN. You're going to feature content. Hit the opening call right here, right now. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow.